Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about an important aspect of JIRA, which is understanding issue types. So let's dive right in. In JIRA, issue types are used to categorize and track different types of work or tasks within a project. They help us to better organize and manage our project effectively. Let's take a look at some common JIRA issue types. First, we have the bug issue type. It is used to report and track software defects or errors. For example, let's say you are testing a new feature and you discover that a button on the user interface is not working as intended. You would create a bug issue to notify the development team. Next, we have the task issue type. It represents a specific action that needs to be completed. Let's say you need to update the project documentation. You would create a task issue, assign it to yourself and track the progress until it's done. Moving on, we have the story issue type. It is commonly used in agile methodologies and represents a user requirement or feature request. For instance, Imagine you're building a shopping website and a user wants to be able to filter products by price. You would create a story issue to capture and prioritize this user need. Lastly, we have the epic issue type. An epic represents a larger body of work that can be broken down into smaller, manageable tasks. It helps to provide an overview and track progress for a significant feature project milestone. And there you have it. Understanding these basic JIRA issue types, bug, task, story and epic, can greatly enhance your project management experience in JIRA. Thanks for watching. I hope this quick overview has helped you grasp the concept of JIRA issue types. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel at Tech with Just Jingle Tingle for more helpful content. See you next time.